PC. A mini PC is everything you would find in a normal computer tower, but shrunk down into a box that's about the size of a paperback novel. Mini PCs aren't necessarily underpowered, though. Some mini PCs can actually be used for graphics work, sound design, and even gaming. Our friends over at Geekom reached out to see if we wanted to take a look at one of its mini PC offerings, and Cliff is here to tell us all about it. Cliff, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing great. I've got a tiny little PC that I can review with you and you'll be able to show off the the ins and outs of it literally and I'll, I will I will right. and, and actually that's a real good intro for me to uh, give my disclaimer now I want to make very clear that this is a mini PC the review unit that Cliff has came to us from Geekom for the podcast but separately I also received a review unit for Slash Gear these are two different computers that came at two different times from actually two different PR people so my review is due out next week next week at Slash Gear but Cliff has his re his, Cliff has had his unit for weeks now so he's ready to share some thoughts um, but the review unit that's actually going to be on the review cam is the one that I received and I think in some way that clears me from any wrongdoing uh, so I just wanted to make it clear that this was you know this is a a totally separate arrangement it actually just kind of worked out we'll, we'll that just, i had one at the same time we'll just put a giant asterisk next next to your content and we'll oh, be fine do i need to add an asterisk to the review cam uh, label there let's let's do that review cam and let's just do bang okay there we go <laughs> so um without further ado let's go ahead and introduce the uh review cam and by the way i'm not sure if i pronounced the company's name correctly i'm calling it geekom but it's G-E-E-K-O-M. So yeah, pronounce I, that however you will. I've been pronouncing it Geekom. It could be Geekom. Yeah. I'm could not be. sure which is which. So here's the but, name. Uh, you can see it right there. Yeah, it's very, it how you very want to. subtle branding on the top of the uh <laughs> on the top of the uh computer there. So uh, yeah, so this is the uh the mini PC. Uh Cliff, why don't you go ahead and just tell us all about it and I'll I'll hand model this. Yeah, you'll be you. the hand model for us. Yeah. So as you said, I received this uh, weeks ago, and I've had some um, hands-on time with it and, and, and some time to put it through its paces. Uh, as you can see, just, just from Adam putting his hands there, maybe for uh, well, some wonderful notification sounds. Yeah, right. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Just keep going. Oh, I'm not worried about it at <laughs> all. Push through! Push through! <laughs> Push through it! We can do this! Yeah, so as you can see uh, from uh, Adam's phone for... Uh, for size uh, I reference. guess you can call it a side reference, and also his hands hands that he's modeling there. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> although maybe those are a little. I'm having to I'm having camera. too much fun with this. Uh, I know. Well, it's the first time that, that we've really got a chance to use the review cam, so this is this is go. a good practice for both of us, right? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So, and this is, I think, the first time I've done a live review in a long time, especially of a computer where we actually have it, in, and, and the first time we've had it in front of us where we can actually show it off it's kind of hard to do this with a laptop especially if you've got a one that's larger because right. it doesn't it's going to take up the whole screen yeah, yeah. so so geekum or or geekum uh sent this to us and as like i was saying it's it's basically uh four and a half by four and a half it's a little bit less and a little bit more um as far as the uh width uh, is concerned Ah, there it is. 4.6. So 4.6. I think it's 4.4. By 4.4. 4.4. Perfect. And then 1.8 tall. 1.8 tall without the little feet. Yeah, 1.95 if you include the feet. Exactly. We should call this caliper cam. <laughs> it's actually a pretty that, that we're gonna need works. names for these things i think we're gonna need names for review cam and for mr caliper so, so start start thinking about those in the comments <laughs> oh maybe we could get them sponsored we could we could yeah <laughs> review cam brought to you by audible no it's not this week but it is not <laughs> yeah just hypothetically we're just we're just we're throwing that out there audible right. we love you and we can yep. maybe get you as a sponsor Absolutely. so Absolutely. so normally when you see uh or at least i've seen uh um a PC like this, uh, if it's if, it, if it's in someone's home, usually I see it used as like a, a home theater PC. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's used out in the wild, maybe in, in a business, it's usually for something like uh, a point of sale display or yeah. if they're running like uh, something on a, a TV that's mounted on a wall because this is Visa mountable, which is really nice. Uh, as mm -hmm. you can, we will talk about that in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's and, in the uh, show notes. <laughs> Amongst other things. So yeah, just for me, what you saw from the dimensions there, it is very small. I can actually also hold up mine so you can kind of see yeah. right there on my face. For such a small PC, it's got a ton of ports. Yeah. Uh, I think we actually mentioned on our first, um, I guess you'd call it like 
our return video podcast. Yeah, let's uh, go through it now, though. Right, right, exactly. So I'm going to get some, I'm going to have it on the same side as you. I'm yes, going to put you... on my old man glasses here. So. Yeah, there you go. So you've got USB-C, which I believe is yeah. uh, USB 3 uh, for yeah. both, our, and also a USB-A that is at least 3 because it's got the little blue marking on the inside, your yep. headphone and microphone port, and the power jack. That is the power button right there. Exactly. So, rotate, not a whole lot here. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, that is the... Uh, the lock. Uh, Kensington lock, I believe, is yeah. what that's actually called. So if you yeah. have this on your desktop, that yeah. you can buy a little lock, almost like a tiny bike lock, to keep someone from walking off with it. And then just to skip forward a little bit, we have a vent on this side and a vent on this side and a vent on the back. So tons right. of airflow here. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. It's it in not to not to jump uh, too far ahead, but because yeah. of that, um, I think they they call it a smart quiet fan, which I'm guessing that has something to do with the temperature sensor inside and being yeah, you know, so it's not just blasting off all the time. But in my experience, it was pretty quiet. But we'll go back to the ports. So on the back, you've got two USB A three ports. Yeah, here you see there in the blue to the right, you've got again uh, another USB C port and an mm -hmm. HDMI full size out. Yep. A little uh, skimming to your left, you've got an RJ45 or Ethernet port, which mm -hmm. is really nice uh, to have, and then I believe that's a mini display port. It is. Yes, it is. And then um, the barrel. The far, yeah, your barrel charger, which it does say 19 volts, which that's, that's not bad. That's not a huge yeah. power draw. And the reason that it's not a huge power draw, if we want to actually talk about the internals, like, yeah. before I say that, it, we do, I don't know if you we do have one more side. Yeah, one more side. And that does have a full size SD card reader. Which is, so, I mean, you wouldn't expect to see that in a mini PC. Well, so here's my thought on that is if you wanted okay. to, it's, it, instead of offloading, stuff over a network um, like mm. media as an example you could just throw it onto an sd card and, and drop Very it true. right on the side going back to how this could be really useful as a home theater pc yeah yeah very true right, and right. that's cool because you you've got the USB A um and USB C on the front along with the headphone jack there's no internal uh there's no built-in speakers right um so you need a headphone jack or you need some type of audio for audio output like or you could do yeah. Or you could do Bluetooth because that you could do it. Bluetooth, yeah. Right, which is um, probably the probably the the best way to go yeah. with a setup like this, since it doesn't have like a RCA out or something like you know something that's a little more right, right. Uh, you know, tailored by itself for 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 being a home theater PC. I keep I keep coming back to that because with it being V surmountable with the size, mm -hmm. um, and we'll talk about now why I was going to say that it is it's it's pretty quiet. Um, there's nothing worse than being in your uh, home theater and you like you've spent money soundproofing the walls and and you're isolated and you've perfected the sound position and you just got this pc you know in in your uh home theater tower going right creating okay. white noise this won't will, will not do that as long as you're probably not pushing 8k video or something like that although i don't um, know if it's capable okay. of pushing that I want to go ahead and throw it over to you and give you a little bit of free reign on the sure. microphone to talk about just overall impressions using the PC. While you do that, I'm going to mute myself and I've got Mr. Drill here. So I'm going nice. to, we're going to open this puppy up. Um, and I just don't want you to be here like the, you know, while you're doing that. So oh, everyone um, loves hearing the sound of a drill. What are you talking I, about? I get, I get the that world's worst ASMR. <laughs> so yeah, right. Uh, so I'm going to toss it over to you and I'll have this open in like probably a minute. So, okay. Go. Sounds good. Yeah, so overall impressions. I mean, it, at its core, if you ignore the fact that it's a small PC and you just have it hooked up to a display, you're going to find a, a very bone stock uh, build or, or um, version of Windows 11 Pro. I think it, I, I can't remember if it had any extra software, but I don't think so. Even from Geekum, uh, that that would be taking up storage space. So that's really nice. The fact that it actually comes with Windows 11 Pro as standard is awesome um i mean from enterprise stuff that might not make, make a whole lot of sense but management is management especially if you're managing it over a home network so one thing i wanted to mention is that this does have a quad core processor which is really important if you're doing any kind of uh, work and it's also the reason that you can have uh, windows 11 on this so that's really nice it is it is windows 11 proof uh future proof uh, so it's got a uh, Intel Coffee Lake. That's the eighth generation Core i5. It's an 8259U, which if memory serve basically makes me think that this is, uh, I believe that's an ultra low voltage processor, something that's similar to something that you'd find at an Ultrabook. Um, and then it has uh, Intel's uh, Iris Plus uh, graphics, the 655. I did 
want to just check and make sure because I, in my experience, it was fine, but it does support hardware decoding of uh, video, which is really good if you're using this as a home theater PC. Okay. And Adam has got it open. Yes. And so here's this is really what makes this this home theater PC so cool. Not the fact mm -hmm. that Kim. Well, I mean, it's so so it's what four Phillips head screws, right? So yeah, it's four. Yeah, it's four Phillips head screws. The screws do not come out. So like they're so the retaining screws. Yeah, they've got retaining bolts right here. You can yeah. see. Um, and that's then, actually really nice. You know, you're the, you're, when you open it up, your screws aren't just falling off, and you're, you're right. To keep up, keep track of those. Um, okay, so as you can see here, this is your this is your SSD drive here. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, specifically a Kingston 512 gig. And, uh, and the fact drive. they actually shout out that they use Kingston RAM in in in, in the uh, press kit. So that's not just right. sometimes when you open up a laptop or something like that, you know, and you've opened up a model that was built six months later, the RAM brands might be different because they just shop those RAM. But they specifically shout out the fact that they're using Kingston RAM. Here, so. Right now, it should be mentioned that I believe some of the units that you can buy do not come with a hard drive. Although actually, I'm looking at Amazon right now and it's either 256 or 512. So I guess I, I maybe I guess the ones that you buy on Amazon on do come with them i thought i saw somewere in the reviewers so, so they're offering was, a bare bones version I of thought, it i thought i saw that they were um okay but anyway it's it's very easily replaceable there's a single phillips head screw here right and then um you know it just kind of well that's pops so out. yeah it's it's an m.2 uh mm -hmm. ssd so really something that's uh popular and easily um found accessible if you go i mean amazon or if you go to like a crucial or something like that not a sponsor yeah. but uh yeah, yeah right. so it easy easy to upgrade the uh the ssd in it and the ram yeah and i believe this is 16 gigabytes of ram i thought it was it is, eight but i believe it is, it is 16 gigabytes 16. of ram i think in both of the models that we received and then it yeah. supports uh up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. well yeah, and I was going to point out, there's an actually an X, yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but there's actually an extra slot here that's right. empty. So, I mean, it would be super easy. To, and cheap um, compared to having to buy a 32 uh, right. gigabyte dem. So, um, so that yeah, is it would nice. be very easy to do. And like, these are just, you know, retaining clips here. And I mean, it would be very easy to just take this thing apart right now. I'm not going to do that because, um, yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, and then, uh, but I mean, yeah, that's as far as you want to go into this. There's also like, there are other layers beyond here. There's uh, the the fan that we talked about underneath the, uh, underneath the circuit board and all that. So, but uh, that's as far as I want to go with my electric screwdriver on Mr. Review Cam. So, um, but I mean, I think just in taking off the bottom there, right. That it shows you how easily accessible it is to, to, yeah, access most of the things that you're going to want to be that, that you're going to think about upgrading right out of the box if you're not happy with the storage that comes with it. But exactly. here's something else that's cool. If you actually um, uh, pop off the motherboard, it does have uh, more expansion available in that you can add a two and a half inch uh, SSD or mechanical hard drive from a laptop. Ah, okay, cool. So you can have a, you can have the M.2 SSD that is already pre-installed, and then add additional storage up to two terabytes. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. yeah. So that's uh, that's. I mean, I, that's not nothing. I mean, that's. I mean, uh, that's crazy. Right. Exactly. And and if you think about the fact that you've also got the SSD, or I'm sorry, you've got the SD card slot on the outside. Oh, you I mean, know what? You've got a lot of options. You know what? I actually I just realized that's what this tray is for. This is where oh, that's the you don't even have tray. to take off the you don't even have to take off the motherboard. It slides in right here. Yeah, that's the power cable right there. They go into it. So mm -hmm. yeah, so that slides it slots in and it plugs yep. into the power super down easy. here. So yeah, this is like super easy to upgrade. I mean, <laughs> you know, if you want to buy, just... I was looking at the exploded view and I didn't realize. Think about the fact that this is basically upside. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, this is right. upside down. Um, so but yeah, so that's oh that's that's really cool i'm like i when i first took this off i was kind of like what is this but then i realized yeah that's like that's exactly the <laughs> yeah, i mean honestly the, like most, i mean most laptops which is most of what we've we've reviewed here I, I don't have you reviewed a desktop pc until now i have not reviewed a desktop pc on this podcast and right. actually i now that you mention that i don't think i ever have no <laughs> so i i mean honestly you just don't see two and a half inch laptop hmm. hard drives anymore unless you get like um like a gaming laptop that has a secondary drive or you're getting a really right. cheap, like uh, I wouldn't even say a Chromebook because that's going to have just like a 32 gigabyte, you know, like yeah. on board, yeah, you know, something from like Walmart that costs like $300. Nothing so, wrong with that, but it's just not as common as it used to be. I'm going to go ahead and pop this back on here. Okay. Um, 
because we got to talk about a few and, other and things. And again, it's four, four Phillips head four screwdrivers. Screws, it's yeah. not even like a torque screw or something like that. So you can open this up with like, just like Adam did there with your something you have in your drunk drawer. If you just have a Phillips head screwdriver or your electric screwdriver, like, and I'm muting again. Okay. Uh, so this is also visa mountable. So I actually want to talk about some of the stuff that comes in the box. First of all, like I said, it's visa mountable, uh, which means you can mount it on the back of your of most monitors. They have that. And if you've never done that before, just look in your box. You'll probably find some some screws in there. Uh, and spoiler and alert: we we're going to show that off. Too, oh, so. that's right. Yeah, I shouldn't yep. uh, jump the shark there. Uh, and it also the thing that I thought was cool, although I I kind of find it think of it as being hilarious. Also, that it comes with a carrying bag. Yeah. Now, I have to. I mean. That's really nice. It's a nice touch. I mean, not really the, the accessories that it came with. Maybe Adam's gonna gonna kind of bring the box. But it was first of all really nicely packaged. I don't know if I put um, everything back in the box. To be honest, I've nope, got, actually, I actually, you know what? I've got mine right here as well. So there you go. <laughs> I don't know and... where I put that carrying bag. <laughs> <laughs> but it, the fact that it came with a carrying bag, I thought was both hilarious, but also, I mean, it's 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 a nice touch. It's a nice touch. I yeah. just, you know, okay, so you know, if you were gonna carry this, um. I, I, I guess maybe, you know, you want to maybe, maybe you do like um, hook it up to a projector or something like that and use it for presentations. If you if you mm -hmm. also have like a separate laptop or something like that, I really can't think of the use case. I'm sure that someone out there can easily think of a use case. And if and if you do think of a good reason for that, just leave a comment. That's actually yeah. something we would love to hear back from you if you have any Absolutely. questions for us. Uh, OK, so um, also. Here, while you're while you're mentioning it, um, you mentioned the projectors. This um, this actually supports up to four displays. Four displays. So, uh, I think it was up to four displays at 4K yeah. at 60 frames per second. Is that right? Some I don't know. If, was it six? Ah, you know what? That might be two. But uh, but it does support up to uh, four displays. Yeah, and um, now obviously you know there's only two display outs here. They've got the mini D, the mini. DP. Well, you've got so you've got Sorry. dedicated display outs with the uh mini D dv uh, or um, um mini display port and then yeah hdmi what, but then you've also got usb multiple usb c ports which right so you could potentially potentially hook up like a um like a what's that called uh we had one on the show like damn it hub? like a hub yeah like for a, display, a hub or, like a multiple or display right right exactly yeah. I mean, right now I've got a docking station um, with a USB C to HDMI, so they make yeah, yeah. you know cables with that with that uh, adapter built in. So yeah, I did want to show you. So I, I've got the box open here, okay, and it does come with. Let me see how this bag. would be on the green screen. I thought <laughs> I knew it would do something like that. Yep, green screen plus camera. Not happy with that um, since it's black. But then it also comes with a Visa mounting kit, which you will okay. show us later. So, yep. and your just so we see what else is in the box, the Geek Manual. Mm -hmm. Do we want to show off that Visa mount? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So while Cliff was talking, I don't know if you noticed, but there were two additional screws that I put onto the back here. Um, you, if I turn it to the side, you can see that they stick out right here and right here. And these are just mounting pegs. Um, they screw into the back of the machine. Now, you can't leave them in because when you do, the 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 mini pc is unstable right but um it also comes with a back plate that you can attach to the back of your monitor with a that has a visa mount and that will bring you to review cam part do 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 so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, kill review cam here and let me just show you how you this weren't is expecting a second second review cam were you so Those i'm gonna be years. turning away from the mic so cliff you're gonna have to do the talking here oh boy you know, this is something I have never done. I've had um, Chrome boxes that were also Visa mountable uh, that were considerably larger than this. But, yep, so you can see as Adam's putting it on there, that's exactly how it mounts to the back. And really what you're doing there is you're giving yourself, ah, and it just slots on there. Mm -hmm. So that's actually really nice. You don't even have to, um, to screw it on there. And that's actually th that same adapter is how if you buy uh, a, um, a swing arm, for example, for your monitor, it mounts to that same, to that same uh, part on the back there. Ah, yes. Yeah, so then you've got access to your pulse. I mean, basically, what you've got there is 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 a, is a home built iPad, or I'm sorry, I, iMac. 
Yeah, yeah, like like um, uh, with like all in one PC. All in one PC, exactly. Is the generic term for it. Right, exactly. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that over here because <laughs> we're gonna start wrapping things up. And um, but, I did uh, want to mention yeah. also since we were talking about um, well both using it in the form that you have there but also as a home theater pc it does support uh gigabit ethernet uh which is okay, nice yeah i was trying to see uh if it supported wi-fi 6 and i don't think it does yeah i i don't know off the top of my head unfortunately. well it's going to be more because it because it's a system on a chip right so it's going to be um it's going to be whatever intel has that's supported as far as what's integrated into it i believe i mean it, very true know, Anyway, so even if it, I know it's going to support at least Wi-Fi 5, so it's going to be more than enough for, I would say, especially if you don't have a whole lot of people uh, yeah. operating on your network at the same time, it's but more than enough to stream uh, 4K video. So, Yeah, so what I've been using it for um, is I actually have this connected to a TV in my office, and so I've been trying to slowly adopt the ways of the standing desk so oh. since everything that i do is in the cloud it's really can it's really convenient for me to just have a second pc set up over there where i can get up go stand over there for like five minutes and then you know come back over and sit back down and get back to work so that's primarily what i've been using it for i also was able to set it up as like a secondary uh workstation in my sunroom before i remembered that i live in chicago and it's cold as hell outside now. <laughs> um, so uh but for but for now that's what i'm going to be using it for and you know i haven't done i haven't done like photoshop or anything like that on it yet i will by next week uh because that's when my reviews do um but well, uh, well, i can speak yeah. to that a little bit so i i've yeah. actually recorded this podcast pretty when we were doing audio uh, podcast i've recorded it on this machine and i have done some audio editing on it and yeah. i have done some light photoshop work on it i mean the fact that it has 16 gigabytes of ram that it is a quad core uh chip mm -hmm. now it doesn't have discrete graphics or anything like that but right. but for basic media uh editing and things like that you certainly wouldn't want to render 4k video on it mm -hmm. I, I mean you could but it would it would just it would take a while because this is let's see what now five generations old as far as the processor but yeah that sounds yeah. like more than it is i really i mean I, i'm trying to think that would have been like 2018 era but uh so still a pretty beefy little machine especially for um for the size and the fact that it's the old like, and i think i've mentioned this before the fact that it's an ultra low voltage processor means that uh number one you don't have to have a giant wall wart uh, right. that you have to plug in and two it's going to run relatively cool yeah, it's uh, with, just, with, this is just like a like a brick on the string, like what you. It really is. Laptop, so. It's not bad at all. And and yeah. to to uh, to correct myself, or just to to kind of add an and an add on there too. When I was talking about, we were talking about uh, four four K displays. It does support that at thirty hertz. So okay, probably not your best if you're trying to do uh, you know some light gaming or something. But you know, yeah. TV is twenty four frames per second, so it's it's fine right. for that. Right. Uh, yeah, so, but, uh, yeah, overall it's, uh, it's, a uh, it's a nice, it's a fun little PC and I, and I'm glad that we had a chance to Me too. check it out here because, you know, like I said, this is a very phone centric YouTube channel and, and podcast. Um, uh, but you know, this kind of speaks to that portability and that I think that we're, we're big fans of. I mean, it's absolutely so, mobile. It even has a bag that comes with it. So. <laughs> right. Right. I mean, the, the one thing about, you know, mini PCs is, you know, this is, um, I would probably consider this more of like. Uh, more of like a kind of a media machine, you know, hook it up to your TV right. or something like that. Um, you know, and you know, the one thing we haven't mentioned yet is the price right now, the, as now. reviewed um, ours goes for $450 on Amazon. Um, there's also the, uh, the eight gigabyte of Ram 256 mo uh, hmm. gigabyte hard drive model for 389. So that's even like cheaper. So 70, um, I was just trying to think, could you save, would it be worth, saving the money if you plan on upgrading it yourself for that uh, i mean probably not, probably not cuz by probably the time not. you add you add you know another 16 gigabytes of ram yeah. or more and more yeah you're probably going to be at that same place and you then you're going to have to do the work to install it so yeah. i mean either of those is is really a great value though and yeah. i can tell you i have a laptop as well that that runs a uh, uh an 8th gen core i5 at the probably a, if it's not the exact same in, you know intel model number it's something very similar mm -hmm. and it's still a screaming little machine for, for most about everything you want to throw at it. And here's something else I thought about too. 
um, you know, what this does come um, as it ships when you buy it, uh, you know, with Windows 11 Pro. Mm -hmm. But, and this might be something that I actually try with it if they, uh, if Geekum doesn't mind, I will have to discuss that later. But, and I can't remember what is, do you, do you remember what the um, Google's Chrome OS installation service is for basically you can install it on? <sighs> Third party no, PCs. No, I know what you're talking about, and I can't. The name escapes me. Yeah, well, they had a code name for it, and when they like officially released it, they changed it, and so I can't recall it right now. But this would make a screaming it. little oh uh, Chrome box. Oh my god, that would be insane. Yeah, absolutely. 16 gigabytes of RAM and a uh, quad core core i5. I yeah. mean, I would I would say this has got to be pretty similar in performance to like an 11th gen core i3. So Probably again, pretty it, yeah, 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 absolutely. For, so, for most things, I mean, I'm not going to quote benchmarks or anything like that, but I mean, right. that would make it would make an awesome little Chrome box. And so that might be something that I play around with. And, you know, maybe I'll maybe we'll do like a little follow up video or something, you know, where I just talk about it. Nothing we can. Else. Yeah, we yeah, can. Well, that's sure. what that's what Doubting Thomas is for. Exactly. Right? So we can uh, do some follow up stuff on this and see that's why this that's why you're going to get more from this channel than you're going to get from other channels, because we <laughs> go back and we revisit stuff. We keep using this that's stuff true. even after the review is done. And, and I really do think, you know, what I just talked about there in, in terms of I don't really want to call it modding it. I mean, installing a different OS is, is not a big deal. Right. But right. I if you look at the fact this is very just from you cracking it open how accessible everything was just Super right there accessible, yeah they, they they obviously want to encourage you to add things to it so in the in the spirit of that i think just trying out different operating systems on it is something that you should do in fact you're almost obligated to <laughs> yeah i i'd say it's you know it's practically in the manual it is but it's not um it's so not. yeah so at your own risk folks but uh all right so we should go ahead and uh and wrap things up here cliff did you have any final thoughts that you wanted to share i like it and i and i i haven't used it in, in about a week and i kind of want to uh hook it back, back up and, it. and start playing with it again and, and now that i've got the the idea for, i was thinking about the the chrome os thing on the on the way in here just to get set up and i'm like oh, that's a really good idea why didn't i think of that before the review yeah. Well, and actually, but, uh, now that I've got it, now that I've got a visa mounted, I might just leave it on that monitor for a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, well, but, I, I wanted to say that this is our first, uh, this is our first real like full review of, of our product for our YouTube channel. So I want to mm -hmm. uh, thank everybody that has supported us in the past, and yep. and for your for our new viewers, thank you for checking us out, and don't forget to to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Hit that bell, as they hit say. That bell. Smash that bell. Smash it. Don't just, don't just hit it. Smash, smash it. Smash, smash, smash it. Smash it. Exactly. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, please do consider subscribing. Consider subscribing to the audio podcast if you're into mm. audio podcasts. We love putting those out as well. Uh, and um, and yes, uh, in the meantime, uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Smash that bell. And thank you for giving us the benefit of the doubt. <laughs>